um, that just go into the line. And the Bishop Reddy is doing a great job in helping plant trees all over Karnataka with the 600 trees and the boundary before that, 50 trees. So 150 trees, the name of uh, Abhishek Reddy, already planted in Karnataka, or will be soon. To go over the top, just a huge interference with all. Was running back, but uh, just goes over him. He's come uh, with a clear mindset. See a Karthik? He wants to go big and he wants to go early in the innings. Just have a look at that on the right. Part of the fielder at uh, mid on. Running back, just eluding him. <laughs> Prati Chen. Always good to see a left arm fast bowler. 31 games. Coming of 8.16. <laughs> oh, good shot ball. I think he saw Steve Karthik walking up to him as a good young fast bowler should do and hit him on his helmet and uh, make sure that he doesn't expect anything in his heart. It's been an entertaining uh, nine balls so far. They've gone hard. Well, for all of you to come enjoy uh, the KPL KPM dot insider We had some really good games. We've had some uh, ineffective games as well, but always a mention of how uh, good the crowds have been here at the Chinnaswami. Paytm Insider dot in. Go get your tickets. Come watch uh, entertaining Karnataka Premier League. Lots of young talent on show. Been impressed with uh, quite a few of the players uh, that have been on show. E.V. Siddharth, Prasit Krishna, Bharat Chipli today. <laughs> uh, this time around, just getting the ball to come back in. Always a good delivery by left arm fast bowler. Pratik has looked good so far, got the ball to leave the right-hander, also getting it to come back in. Look at the field, he's got a short mid-wicket, he's got a deep square leg, third man back. So now uh, with this field, he can move the, way, the ball both ways. Pratik. <laughs> this time goes short, pulls it uh, and gets a single. Abhishek ready at the end of two, it's 15 without loss. Well, uh, it's been a good start by the Ballari Tuskers, Abhishek Reddy and Karthik CA. Getting on to a fly, Abhishek Reddy. We go on ball short down leg. Akshay, guilty. Did get that final ball four, but he's given that away right here. So he's now zero. Plus four, minus four. They're not the ideal delivery. Drifting down, Abhishek Reddy has got a pro flyer, got the better of him in his first over as well. This time trying to trap him for room, but only manages to drift down the leg side. Abhishek Reddy. Abhishek's actually had a good uh, match, hasn't he? Got a couple of very nice catches, he did well, and uh, that confidence sometimes moves on to uh, the next innings as it seems to have for Abhishek. I hope I'm not jinxing him. Oh, again, the ball was there for the big cut, and Abhishek would be upset he missed out. Well, that Abhishek's taking a lot of confidence from this Abhishek in the commentary box. 
lot of uh, impressive shots that we've got to see uh, while he's displayed his skills in the KPL Abhishek Reddy. I like the way he's played off the back foot, the first game as well. Remind me a bit of uh, Brad Hodge, of how he batted, the, how the, the, his uh, build and how he goes about his innings. Well, I wonder if Hodge will be happy to hear that, but certainly Abhishek will be. <laughs> Good stuff. That's what we expect from the KPL. You know, over the years, we've seen fabulous talent come through Karnataka, and a lot of that has translated onto higher leagues, onto the nation as well. Yesterday, unfortunately, we couldn't quite see him back, but Manish Pandey was on the field. It's always nice that they come back and contribute to the KPL. Again, short, wide. That's a... Uh, well, Akshar used to be very, very quick, and he's a well-built guy, so he comes and puts a lot of shoulder as well. But... Um, you don't want to waste deliveries. It takes so much energy as a bowler. You would know was a waste energy coming all the way down. Oh, yeah. Bowl it again. And uh, disappointing the captain as well. If you have a look at the field that he's bowling with, he's got four men inside the circle on the onside. So he's got a short fine leg, square leg, mid wicket and mid on. So going short, not the best of ideas. Well, thrashed away. There was the space. Feed his arms. Yet only a single that wanted to No. Okay, that was a good decision. Did improve his l length that time, Akshay, but not his line too wide. Just see, he's been on the fuller length, uh, Kiran Charu. Just look at uh, how he's gone about this time around. Again, down the leg side, now going wide outside the offside. This tells you uh, the rhythm's not quite there today. The new ball, uh, finding it difficult to control it. Sometimes I just believe. Uh, you can use the cross team to your advantage. We've seen a lot of uh, cricketers at the international level do that now. Uh, thrashed away with straight to mid on. So obviously, Karthik is also wanting to get in the act. Abhishek Reddy currently striking at 150 nearly. And of course, his partner, Karthik, not that he has that much strike, striking at just 60, but uh, we'll have to be a little generous with that. So uh, that's uh, the two of us. Can you see? Uh, yeah, there we go. But we also have country in Canada, so uh, you know, please do tune into Star Sports Canada, and uh, you have audio options as well. And uh, we've got some wonderful people there, Vijay Bharadwaj and Sujit Somsinder right now. A lot of good work for Karnataka and India. Up in the air, nobody there that could carry all the way. Six again, upstairs a little short, and uh, Karthik finally helps himself, gets a gimme, and takes it happily. Well, he's been uh, looking very aggressive today, see Karthik and I spoke about it's not the correct ball to bowl with that sort of a field. If you want to go short, you make sure you have that protection. But it just feels like he went for the double glove, but uh, not paying off. Even from a captain's point of view, Charu, it's uh, sometimes wise to give uh, the bowl a very safe field rather than uh, a one-way traffic field in times like that. Yeah, you make a good point about Bharat Chippi, this captain game. Again, thrashed away straight to mid-wicket, so lucky to get away with it. But Akshay, not the quickest. We'll talk more about that later. Three gone, 27 for no loss. So, I think at least 15, 20 runs short, but uh, maybe I'm being a little overcritical. Making the job for Ballari much easier than it should have been. Ariyapa, he uh, did hit 1-6, which Gautam helped him with, but then missed three big slashes in a row. And uh, finally, of course, Akshay came and finished it off with the boundary. So, here he is with his leggies. A big spin of the ball for sure, Ariyapa. About that total, I think they missed out on a trick there because we, you know, normally expect from better teams a nice 
acceleration towards the end. But we've seen time and again that towards the end, of course, the better bowlers also come back. But the innings is waiting, as it's uh, not really climbed. Just be Charlie, that uh, teams in the KKL so far have tried to go too hard towards the death. I believe there's a method to the madness towards uh, the end of an innings. And uh, sometimes when you try to go hard at every ball, then it just becomes very difficult to uh, keep wickets in hand. And we've seen teams lose up to five, six wickets in the last three, four overs. Oh, just over mid on. Needed to be a little. Is that Bharat? Yeah, and one of their better all rounders. Needed to be a little taller. Well, full. Not quite in the slot, but uh, used his fist really well. See, Karthik just seems very confident today. Has come out all guns blazing. Just seems like. Uh, doesn't want to hold back today. Just playing free flowing cricket. We quick up with that career. Who, of course, has played in the, the high league, the top league for uh, KKR a while. And uh, I, I wonder if he got enough uh, matches there. Maybe that's why he didn't. Well, he got one. He played one against. Uh, the Sunrisers, Hyderabad, but uh, was unfortunate. If Rashid come for a 6-4 and four in the last over, but uh, was slightly expensive with the ball. Just feel his strength being stumped to stump, holding that length consistently, but uh, when you're a batsman in that mood, it just makes it very, very difficult. Well, that turned out to be a very special shot. I think he hit that on the back foot. They got plenty of bat on it, and Karim Parvary really should have stopped that because uh, long, long, long off too wide. We don't even have a long off that. Matter of fact, it was uh, mid off and a long off. But as again, couldn't quite get back in time. Straight behind the bowler. Well, I'm very, very happy with the feeding effort as well, Charlie. If you look at uh, where the long on feeder was, we often uh, talk about being a game of angles. And once again, go straight. A lot of power, no finesse, but uh, it doesn't matter to see a car thing. The end of four, it's uh, 41 without loss. Special boundaries. One should be stopped by the bowler. There it is. Off the back foot. Just, uh, went through with it. Maybe Kariyapur should have stopped that. Look at this one. It stood there. Over the bowler. Straight. No chance of Bharat at all. So maybe Kariyapur guilty of being a little too short. Allowing the batsman to play those shots. Well, to be fair to him, it uh, was a good shot. Just feel only if he can get a bit of deviation from the pitch will he be effective. For a bowler like him, you need to make sure that the bowler, the batsman has to worry about spin, either coming in or leaving you. If the ball's not turning, then you don't have much to offer. It's just about how good your lengths are and the pace that you're bowling with. If you don't get that right, then uh, sometimes it can be very difficult as a bowler. Pratik Jain comes in. Very effective uh, lefty seamer. Suppose a little overly critical if I were to say that, you know, there's a little bit of consistency missing, but uh, for all of fast bowlers, it's a tough job anyway. But uh, he's not the tallest or the biggest. Still can generate a fair amount of pace, Pratik. What we've seen in T20 cricket, uh, Charu, these days is uh, sometimes you don't want to be too consistent. You want to make sure that you're out thinking a pattern a lot of times. can always uh, go the other way around. Up in the air. But uh, I'll go for a boundary, just the, no chance for mid off, mid on to get underneath that. I don't know whether to call him lucky or not, but he got plenty of bat for sure. A lot of intent to hit the big shot. 
Kartik. This is a good spell for him, striking at 175 plus. He's in Africa. He has a strike at a 150. Once again, on the rise. So, this tells you how good the pitch is. He's enjoying the pace and bounce of the pitch. He's playing on the rise, which means he trusts the track. These people need to be smarter with their fields. When you know someone's going straight and looking to go on the rise, uh, sometimes changing the pace can be a good ploy. Maybe a slower bouncer, but he is bowling to the, sh the shorter boundary. So, uh, it's going to be a tricky ball, this. A slower one's a good option, can pop up in the air. Four. There's a short find, lucky to get away with that. Either side, a short find. Would be in a boundary. You can also see Chalo that he's waiting on the back foot. He's looking for that ball that is slightly back of a length and trying to go with the bounce. When you often notice that uh, in a batsman, things that you can do well is go wide from him because uh, it's, it's become difficult for him to hold his shape outside the off stump and go slow. So you uh, change the bat swing. Lots for a bowler to think of. What do I do next? I only got two balls now. Can I bowl maybe the sl slow one outside off? Oh, lucky again, the batsman inside edge. Maybe onto pad. Gets away with it. The single. Karthik's been enjoying his strike, but uh, on that occasion, just very lucky. And Abhishek Reddy uh, has suddenly lost his strike. He's 18 from 14. There he is again. Well, a good length this time. Going uh, across the line, C.A. Karthik. We consider himself lucky, but has decided to be uh, the aggressor in this uh, innings. He's trying to go after every delivery. <laughs> That's a handsome on drive. You might get two for it. Didn't get uh, the sweet part of the bat, but it was a nice shot by Abhishek to finish a slightly frenetic uh, attempt by Karthik earlier on. So five got 47 for no loss. Malari chasing 163. <laughs>
Fields out and the Tuskers have slowed down the boundary onslaught and decided just to rotate the strike with the ones and twos. Got the run rate under control. They're going out nine and over. Just picking the ball when it's there to go to the boundary. If it's not, it's with the field spread and the infield deep. A lot of easy ones. So a lot of pressure on the Bulls bowlers here and a lot of pressure on the captain there, Chipley. No footwork there from Kartik. Yeah, also terrible batting uh, as well from uh, from the true batsman. And that's the part that we're talking about. 66 without loss and uh, 466 has been scored by this pair. Abhishek Reddy and Karthik. Karthik has uh, contributed 38 in just 24 deliveries with a strike rate of over 150. Whereas Abhishek Reddy has scored 24, 20. Wow. Bit of a sour taste in the bowler's mouth. Another wide down leg side. Yes, uh, we're talking about a partnership and a contribution. Kartik has, uh, has contributed more in this partnership with his brilliant 38. He's uh, scored four fours, four boundaries and two sixers in this innings. They've been very uh, attacking, put the bowlers under pressure, put the captain, Barachipli, under pressure. Well, well, well. Naveen not happy. The teapot comes out. No point. The umpire is giving the call. He's not going to change his decision. Get back and bowl another one, young man. You can see the frustration here. They need a wicket very badly. Palari are running away with the game at the moment. The run rate is more than nine. The required run rate is just over seven. And they've got ten wickets, all ten wickets in hand. On Bijapur. Well, that is a beautiful shot, elegant. And they've turned a one into a two. Brilliant running between the wickets. For Sam Gutten, when they had the uh, toss for the Tuskers, he won it. He said, We're going to bowl first just because of the rain that's around. And so far, it's paid dividends because it's, if, it's, if it had rained, They'd be well in front right now and they'd be winning on the VJD system. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, definitely they're ahead um, in VJD. One more bouncer and very well placed. Yeah, they're not getting the boundaries at the moment, but still very clever batting. They're taking singles. Naveen now uh, rotating the strike. Well, the VJD score after eight overs would be 55, so they are well in front. This could be their third win on the trot. They've been absolute dynamite this tournament. And they just got it in control, the Tuskers. Just rotating the strike. It's just brilliant batting. Power up front in the power play. Then just a little bit of caution in these middle overs. Absolutely. And also they've got very good depth in their batting as well. But uh, David Padikal was uh, tremendous uh, talent and potential. Played extremely well in the under-90s and have graduated to the uh, 23 and then played for the state. And he's coming next. If they lose a wicket, but definitely a dominating performance from this team. End of the over, 72 for no loss, the Bulls. Welcome, welcome to the Super League. Oh, what's he doing? It's great for us. Super League's Magic United. It doesn't get much more exciting than this. The Odin Super League, Shinobu Ahe, Visa Dubasek, Live, Star Sports Network.
with that star on QTV, buddy. What's my right? It's wide of the off stump. I just like the way that they have approached it. Dominant in the power play, realise that they're on top, they're in control. Right, we're going to capitalise here, make sure we don't lose any easy wickets while we've got them on the back foot. Absolutely, yeah. You look at uh, Bijapur at this uh, time, they were 59 and they had lost a wicket. And of course, uh, that, that's when there was a partnership that was going really well for Bijapur, that is between Raju Patkal and Bharat Shipley. And uh, that partnership was uh, 84 runs. And that's when uh, they lost uh, the second wicket, that's of Chipley, Bharat Chipley. was uh, extremely furious when he got out. Darcy. Even though it's just a one, it was just a powerful stroke showing the bowler that I'm in control. If I want to go over the top, I will. But I'm not letting you have the easy wicket. Yeah, that's clever batting, isn't it? And also they have, uh, they have, they know that there's ground is thick and there's uh, singles and also if they can push for the second, there is always a second, they play in the gap. Very good bowling from Barat. Van Boozle. Abhishek ready. Good change of pace, back of the hand. Flying good length as well. So when you when you have the chip, important, it's imperative for the bowler to bowl the ball up to the batsman and not pull it short. The moment you bowl a bit short, then you give more time for the batsman. Even if he gets beaten by the change of pace, he's got the time to adjust himself. Well, they're looking for two. You've heard the call. They've hit it in the gap. And that's just dominance. That's sizzling here, the Tuskers. We're trying with the, with the wickets. And, uh, well, the intent, as far as uh, Bharat was uh, concerned, was a big swan or the change of pace. And this particular ball, he wanted to bowl a yorker, full length. Just added in length of it, and there was a big gap between the short wicket and long on, as we are talking about. It's a big ground, fantastic ground. Well, a bit of a somber in the Bulls fielding performance as the Tuskers, Tuskers 77 for no loss after nine. Smartphones claim to be the fastest. Presenting the true master. Pro master. The super fast Redmi K20 Pro with Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, 1048 megapixel AI triple camera. Shall we? coming into the attack now. Left arm off spin. And that is a powerful stroke, but they've got cover out in the deep. The deep point is uh, more to the cover side of the point uh, position more, uh, rather than the regulation point. Yeah, and also I think we need to uh, give credit to the batsmen in terms of the running between the wickets. I think they pushed the ground, first and hard. And it's too quick. Pachia was in a hurry to uh, deliver the ball, whereas the batsman was not ready, I suppose. That's a dead ball signaled by the straight up fire. That's a good left arm spinner. I played six matches, two wickets. Very early in his KPL career, his best being two for 25. Well, that's one way to get used to a bowler. Just pull away as he's about to deliver. 
to see what he's got. And he's liked it. He's gone after it. But he hasn't got enough of it. Looking for two, but that's a good bit of fielding out the deep. A little bit more eagerness from the balls in the outfield. And also look at the confidence from the batsman. As I was talking about, they've been uh, really running the first one hard, trying to put pressure on the fielders and trying to convert those twos. Ready, just giving yourself a little bit of room, knowing that the point fielder is more to the cover side of uh, the, his position. There's plenty of gaps behind point, and he's placed that diligently. Super batting, I would say, waiting for the ball to come out to him. He did give a bit of uh, bit for himself and see how fine he played it. He knew that the failure of the deep was too square. Brilliant placement. There was a huge gap between the point and three for cover. And again, he's pushing it out from the deep leg side, looking for two, but only getting the one. But I like his approach. He gave himself room the ball before. And then the next ball, he's on the charge, waltzing down the wicket, just putting the pressure on Bhatia. Bhatia goes big. Again, can't get enough of it underneath. Only getting the one. They're getting singles at your will and also getting those odd boundaries. I think that's terrific in the second phase of the uh, innings. It's another easy one. The over, 86 for no loss after 10. Javos about the case of George Below, to India, killing up, and he and us. Women, Bolos about case three. To continue. Came back well the last over. Bit of punishment in the first. Superb pitch to bat on. Definitely the job for uh, 20 runs less here. Should have got 180, 185, or maybe 190. They've got to push to 190. That's how well this pitch is. The ball is coming onto the bat beautifully well for the batsmen to play their shots. And as a bowler, you've got to be extremely consistent. Good batting by Reddy. Ball wasn't there to play the powerful stroke. Just a little bit of touch. Yeah, I mean, no matter what you do as a bowler, you've got to be in line with the stumps here. Change of pace, yorker, bouncer, or even the length deliveries as well. Kartik looking to go leg side, and he wanted to go a lot squarer than that. He wanted to play a little bit more powerfully. Just a little inside edge, and he's still got money for money. Yeah, but then this guy, Kartik, is coming right with the ball. The way he moved it onto the off stump, he made it quite easy for him to play through it. The square leg region. Not a bad delivery, but a very clever batting, I should say. Good risk. He wanted to go straight up, but uh, just at the end, it was going more leg side, so he just adjusted with the wrist. Oh, a little bit of improvisation. A little bit of vibrancy. That brings up his 50. This is his first 50 in KPL Kartik, 52 of 33 deliveries, strike rate of more than 150, with six boundaries and two sixes. What a fabulous innings it's been from Kartik CA. He's gone from strength to strength in his innings. 
has taken on the bowlers uh, in the power play and later on has been getting those boundaries as well in the second phase of the series. Oh, just tower through the offside, but they got cover. Kartik has been vigorous on the bowling today. Highest partnership of this season in KPL. 96. And the strike rate is more than 150 for Kartik. Will Cook Kartik be the dream 11 game changer of the match? As we end the 11th over, the Tuskers are 96 for no loss. CA who began slowly but first one to get to the 50, 53 from just 34 striking at over 155 it's been brilliant by these two and you feel for the balls as keeper nothing seems to have worked oh smacked away to extra cover for four if Karthik wasn't playing well so far that will have to count as one of the best shots of the day brilliant Made room. Fabulous timing. Took a bit of a risk, but he's seen the ball so well. No chance. Where do you keep the field? There's only five allowed outside. Raju now has to come back. Goes up in the air. This should be taken by Longhoff. Gets underneath it. And should be easily taken. So Karthik's very adventurous. Sweet innings of 57 from 35. Comes to an end. Raju strikes back for the balls and uh, we ended exactly 100 so it was a 100 run partnership the first in the kpl season uh, well, 2019 but we finally have a wicket for the bijar for balls and it's not too early they are in trouble here we go raju strikes it's a straight delivery nothing much to it didn't quite catch uh, the sweet part of the pattern it's Raju Bhatkal who completes a relatively easy catch. What a fine knock though. Kartik CA 57 from 36 is 100 for 1. I think we might just have a strategic time out of this point of time. I'll take our time to take it. 11.2 overs. Time for both the teams to uh, regroup and uh, come back with better or fresh strategy. Time for a break. <laughs> Watch Red Meat Karnataka Premier League, Bengaluru Blasters vs Shiva Moga Lions today at 7 pm live on the Star Sports Network and Hotstar. Well, the Bulls now are trying to regroup, find out what more they can do to win this match. But I tell you what, the sights and sounds of Bangalore look very different when somebody from Perth comes to explore. Here's Brad Hart. <laughs> for a clear six here, it's very difficult now, at least you have got a booting right now. So that's why you see, you can always uh, sit there, chat around. People come with their families to sit and chat around, but there's no time. Yeah. There are too many people waiting outside. <laughs> Here is 
out Bangalore to experience the doses at the Gyaki of Art, which means student place. That's what yeah. it, it's not the last place you can have it. No, no, no. That tastes like a bit like cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what other vegetables are? This is the sweet. The first thing in the morning we eat is the sweet. That's quite nice. It is that is very tasty. They have used pineapple. Right behind there. Somebody bring me a tissue, a napkin, a mouth watering. Did you enjoy that, Augie? You did? Absolutely loved it, and I'll be going there again. Don't worry about that. And, uh, I'll be ordering too. Yeah, well, listen, I have to hold it against Vijay Bharatwaj. I need to get there, Vijay. So I'm your next candidate. Looked delicious. With the Arti Bone, of course, uh, a big landmark eating place here in uh, Bengaluru for years and years. Buzz, you probably know a little more about it, but uh, I still haven't been there. Um, from that uh, neck of the woods, Charu, so I grew up eating those dosas and uh, the uh, vadas. The, the good thing there is there's a pattern there, you know, you go in, you have a dosa first, then you have the idli and the karapa, and then once you reach to the, reach the coffee, then the people waiting know that you're on your way out. Oh. So they come and stand there right on your back, so you asking better, you to leave. Better not have a coffee too quickly then, because you have people sort of surrounding your table. Okay, here we go. Raju, round the wicket. Who's the new man? Parikal! A man who can do no wrong. 347 runs, back to back 50s, a very decent strike rate. One of the best young players to come out of the KPL, if you can say that very proudly, but of course, Karnataka in general. You find the timing on that. Turns it away for a single, and he is up and off. One run for Padikal, will he turn into another big one? He can't now, because they need only 163 to win. I've got Fazal Khalil here with me, Faz. Um, all that food's got me thinking, but uh, this could be pretty easy for uh, the Balari Tuskers, despite the loss of this first wicket. Well, yes, he'd done his job, C.A. Karthi came out there, man on a mission. He had to take the advantage of those first six overs, which he did to good effect. And uh, if they play well from here and avoid...